Let's got fun. Not long ago at Subway Hill. The medical report card on Morrison. He has a mouse under his left eye, but a cut over his right eye on the outside of the eyebrow. And more important than the cut was how vulnerable he looked to a guy in Joe Hip who really, oh. as big as he is, is not a power puncher, Dan. He's really kind of an arm puncher. Oh, great uppercut by Morrison. And the first one we've seen. Oh, and a right to the chin puts Joe Hip down. Hip is up, beats a count. Draculich asking him if he can go on. That was a good, solid right uppercut and then a right to the chin by Morrison. From a man who's supposed oh, and to a be good a... right hand by Hip, Alex. From somebody who's supposed to be a left hooker. He's using his right hand better than we've seen. We're in the fifth round, a little over two minutes. And you notice Joe Hip is not holding on. And he really hasn't gone in the survival mode. I mean, he kind of looks like a guy who's looking to throw punches back. He's busted up in the mouth. Yep, Hip bleeding from the mouth. Oh, and Tommy Morrison, a double right hand. And Joe Hip better protect himself. Now we'll see if Tommy Morrison can finish him. If he's got enough left, he looked tired oh. in the fourth. Another half hook, half uppercut with the right hand by Tommy Morrison. And Hip better put himself, Alex, in more of a defensive mode. As you say, either by hanging on and Tommy Morrison, a double right hand. You see Hip look over at Draculich, and I don't know why. I think he might have thought the punch went around a little bit in the back of him. And rabbit punch, maybe. Joe's looking for anything right now. He's looking for a bell, and he's got a minute 20 till he gets there, and his mouth is open. He is a brave game fighter, Joe Hip. And Tommy Morrison is becoming more deliberate here. Yes, and he's, this is interesting. He's yeah. taking his time right. because I think he remembers back to the Mercer fight when he had Mercer hurt and punched himself out. He is clearly pacing himself. And that was a scoring left hand by, by Hip. Ooh, and an off-balance combination by Hip that does nothing. Inside a minute remaining here in the fifth. And I wasn't sure we were going to get to this point. Morrison knocked down Hip in the early stages of this round, and it almost looked like Hip wasn't going to beat the count, but he did. Alex, can Morrison be deliberate to a fault? Well, you know, he knows his body a lot better than we do, and he might sense that he was getting real tired. I mean, he expended a lot of energy, and he may be right. He may be exhausted right now and looking to get let his tank fill up a little bit. It's a, it's a great thing for Joe Hip, allowed him to survive this round, and it looked uh, for a moment like there's no way he could. This fight is scheduled for 10. This is the halfway mark. I your mic on rust. I hate... Knocked down in round five. Watch the right hand from Morrison. Shows the left, and then boom, like almost a right hook. It was not a straight right hand. It put Joe Hip down. But the scoring uppercut by Morrison just prior to that is what really softened softened up Joe Hip, who is bleeding a great deal from the mouth. And Alex and I were both talking to each other during that commercial break about the, the admiration we have for Joe Hip. He, it would have been easy to not get up, Alex, after being knocked down. You know, he's a, he's a game guy. He knows this is a huge fight for him. If he can somehow get in the late round, somehow have Tommy Morrison just faint from exhaustion, I, I mean, it just changed his whole life. And he's fighting as though it depended upon it. Good left hand by Joe Hip. One interesting thing, Dan, Tommy Morrison has never scored a knockout past this point in round six. He was knocked out, uh, uh, but he's never scored one uh, after the sixth round. I'm sorry, after the fifth round. I was going to say, he's never gone beyond the sixth round. That's right. As hard as that is to believe for a man who has had 33 professional fights, Tommy Morrison has never seen the seventh round of a professional fight. Scoring left hand from, from Joe Hip there. Not much coming back from Tommy Morrison. He is clearly, oh, oh. another left hand from Joe Hip. Boy, and that one was right there. And you can see it has backed up Morrison. Oh, and another good combination and a retaliation by Morrison. But a good pair of punches by Joe Hip. I'm sure Tommy Morrison right now is thinking to himself, my life would be a lot simpler if this man would have stayed down after I put him down. This is Tommy Morrison at this point. Could change any moment. At this point, he's in a survival mode. His mouth is open. He is very tired, and he's waiting for a second win. 
Well, he won't get a break for a minute. One minute remaining here in the sixth. Oh, those those combinations that he just tried and fell short were pathetic. I mean, he was just pushing them. Look, there's yeah. no snap. There's nothing on his punches at all. We're just past the halfway point in this fight. And the power that Tommy Morrison has in the early rounds, he has not, at this stage, been able to carry here in the round six. But Joe Hip knows, and we should know, that it can come back in a flash at any moment. Joe Hip has been the aggressor here in the sixth. He has apparently stemmed that flow of blood from his mouth. There's a good right hand by Morrison, but while it scored, it didn't look to do much damage. Facially, Joe Hip really doesn't look much the worse for wear, Alex, and he did say after the third round, although there is some noticeable swelling in that right eyelid. Here we come to the end of round number six. Joe Hip has fought into the 10th round on two separate occasions. Tommy Morrison is on ground where he has never been before. In the seventh round of a professional fight, and he looked spent at the end of the sixth. He opens up the seventh here with crisper punches. I'm amazed that Tommy, I mean, I don't know if anything's wrong with his left hand. He has not really scored with that left hook. He's used the jab. The left hook just has not been a factor. And, and remember that early in his career, he was just a one-punch fighter, and it was the left hook. It was devastating. And, and a, a really a thing of beauty, just a natural hook. He just hasn't thrown it, and Joe Hip is inviting. I mean, the right no. hand's down. I don't know what Joe Hip is thinking with his arms that low. That's good hips, Tom. Keep Unless he is long. taking a, a Rocky Balboa strategy and, and saying, hit me. I'm not sure you have enough to take me out, but it didn't look that way in the fifth when he was on the seat of his pants. Clearly, Sylvester Stallone and Joe Hip have uh, different personal trainers, but at least they were both Rocky Balboa and Joe Hip were both <laughs> southpaws, so there are some similarities. That's right. Again, a reminder that that knee brace on the right leg of Joe Hip is nothing current. It just goes back to his high school football days, and he really wears it more for comfort than anything else. Again, Hip coming forward. Morrison not throwing many meaningful punches. One right hand at the opening bell that really was hard, but look there. I mean, that's just, he's not planning himself. He's bouncing and trying to punch at the same time. There good right a, hand there. Yeah, a good right hand counter by, by Morrison. And Joe Hip, his right eye is definitely starting to, to swell to the point where I'm not sure if it's in, impairing his vision. It, it's safe to say it's not helping his vision any. And of course, that's that's from whence the left jab comes, that jab of Morrison's that he scored easily with and often with early in the fight. Inside a minute here in the seventh. I mean, based upon Tommy Morrison's record, especially with Mercy, you'd have to say that, you know, the big thing is it appears the problem. Oh. Good combination by him. You have to say Morrison's biggest problem is stamina, is endurance, yeah. but... Also on his record is difficulty with one le southpaw, and it, it could be that Tommy's just having trouble solving the southpaw stance, but we have to point out, I mean, Joe Hip is just standing right in front of him. I mean, it's just, and he's not a defensive fighter, clearly. It's just hard to believe that a guy who is as stationary and as slow and as right in front of you as Joe Hip is could give Tommy Morrison this much difficulty simply by standing up to his power. Well, Tommy Morrison told us that he's always been a straight-ahead fighter. It's the only way he knows how to fight. He said, I need to work on fighting moving backwards. Well, he is certainly getting that work here in the last several rounds because Joe Hip has got Tommy Morrison on his heels and moving backwards here at the end of the seventh. Iron Mike on Rust. I hate Rust. Iron Mike. Welcome back to Reno. We move now into the eighth round in this fight between Tommy Morrison there on your left, Joe Hip on your right. And remember, this is scheduled for 10, not 12 rounds. This is a 10-round bout. And Alex, right now, I would love to have a peek at the judges' scorecards. Yeah, uh, well, I can't do that, Dan, but I can I peek at my scorecard. <laughs> I've got Tommy Morrison ahead by two points. I gave him the first three rounds, Hip the fourth, Morrison a two-point fifth round, 10-8, and Joe Hip the sixth and the seventh, the last two that's, rounds. That's exactly the way I see so it So Morrison's well. ahead, but the trend right now is to Joe Hip. And Tommy Morrison has to find a way to win a round or two to make sure he wins his decision. And the trend of the last couple rounds continues with with Joe Hip being the the stalker. Now certainly Tommy Morrison, we're not implying that this he's finished or anything like that. 
but this is a, a different a different stance that Morrison has, uh, has used in the past. And of course, again, we have to remind you that uh, every minute that goes by is a minute in a professional fight that he has not seen. Tommy Morrison is used to being the stalker. Right now, Tommy Morrison is being stalked. He is trying to survive. Yes. To give you an illustration. Oh, good uppercut by Joe Hip. A good uppercut by Hip. A reminder here, you know, in the last three years, Tommy Morrison has fought 12 fights, a total of 33 rounds. That's less than three rounds per fight. We'd like to remind our local ABC stations that at the end of this round, we will be taking a station break. Joe Hip doing all the work. Good scoring yep. response good there by Morrison. And really, you wonder how many of those would be picked off if, if Joe Hip would only carry his gloves a little higher. Because he does not have the hand speed to pick off that jab. And you can see that, that Morrison just reacting to, to hip throwing the right by coming right back with the left. Oh, oh a good, good solid. Oh, good right hand to the ribs. Oh! And there was a good scoring combination by Joe Hip. And a good elbow to the throat by Joe Hip. Well, he was a football player. <laughs> Poor arm shiver. Oh, you saw there how awkward. And really unpolished a fighter Joe is. I mean, is he just kind of plotted in and missed a right hand? Missed that. But the well, fact of the matter is, Joe Hip right now is a fresher fighter, and that really is the story of the fight. And it looks like, based upon this round and the last two before it, that unless Tommy Morrison does get a second or third win or whatever he's looking for, that Joe Hip could just walk into him, as limited as Joe Hip is, and just on the basis of superior endurance, can win this fight. We should point out also, Joe Hip is an 11-1 interdog. We'll return with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after a word from our ABC staff. Now, take it. The beginning of the ninth round of a fight scheduled for 10. There is Joe Hip on the right of your screen, Tommy Morrison on the left. Our unofficial scorecards here at ringside have this a one-point fight in favor of Morrison. And, of course, Joe Hip, an American Indian born in Browning, Montana. His mother, a member of... The Blackfeet, and what a sense of pride must be moving through the reservation where Joe was born. Grew up in Yakima, Washington. Lives now outside Seattle, and he is on the verge of possibly doing something that not many people gave him credit or having a chance, Alex. He went off here today at revolving around a 10 to 1 underdog in this fight against Tommy Morris. I think the final price was 11 to 1. He is a very live underdog. Yes. And he was not, he said, I mean, you never know, Joe said, I don't mind being an underdog. I was an underdog through all my early fights when people just looked at me and said, this guy doesn't look like a fighter. Joe said, no one who ever fought me said afterwards that I wasn't a yes. fighter. There has to be Tough concern guy. in the corner of Tommy Morrison. There's John Brown, his co-manager and trainer. And yes, that is a concerned look. And you see Joe Hip. Scored with an uppercut, and Morrison came back with a left. But this crowd here in Reno has definitely swung over Joe Hip in favor of Hip, and again, Alex, he scores. They're jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah. <laughs> well, on our scorecards, Alex, if one of these fighters wins the ninth and wins the tenth, on our card, he'll win the fight. Again, a reminder that we are not the official scorers. There are three of them here at ringside scoring is on the 10-point must all Joe hip right now pretty much all the scoring four minutes of boxing left this is the final minute of the ninth wide open the mouth of Tommy yeah. Morrison absolutely exhausted Nothing but that jab. That, I mean, you know, he is got a little bit of snap in the jab, but that's just not enough to keep Joe Hip off him. Is that and now blood? Morrison's blood. cutting the mouth. Blood from the mouth of Morrison. From that mouth that's been wide open for so yeah. long, and that's he's how all gets, busted up. And that's how it gets cut. You can't fight with your mouth open. Oh, a good right hand by Morrison, and that hurts Joe Hip. Joe Hip is in trouble. Joe Hip is down. A right hand from Tommy Morrison staggers Joe Hip. Hey.